What would you do in a moment if you had woke up and realized that you had been lied to for very long, your whole life? That your thoughts are a lie, that everything around you is kind of an echo of a lie, that there really is no truth. I mean, how would you feel if you woke up one day and realized that? That your whole life you've been somewhat living a lie and not even realize that you're living it, but contributing, contributing to it at the same time. How would you feel? Could you imagine the emotions that would well and the anger and the frustration and the just the emotional upheavance that one would feel when they come into this truth and knowledge? And that's what's happening right now because truth is starting to be revealed and people are starting to realize that this deceit, this control, this manipulation has gone very far and it's definitely due a number to people. But see, right now we have in our midst, an incredible fork in the road where we can choose either which way. We can choose to walk down a dark path and think negatively and do unto others and judge others and, and, and just destroy our outside world in anger. Or we can take the route of compassion, understanding, and allowing truth to come forth without judgment from us, without any feeling from us whatsoever. It's your thoughts. Have you stopped them? Have you been able to slow your thoughts long enough to, to feel truth? Because if you haven't, then you're not living your life. You're being controlled and deceived and lied to. So take this moment to choose to stop thinking, to make it a conscious choice to get out of your mind. Because it has been proven very recently that there are more brain cells in your heart than there are in your mind which is telling me that our heart has been thinking a lot longer than we know, yet we tend to lie and deceive to our heart because we can't face our own truth. See, we don't need people to lead us because we are each individually leaders of our own. Yet we have to make the conscious choice to stand up and lead our lives, to do that which we desire to do. But if we're fighting each other over what, what, I really don't know why we're fighting each other. I mean, I can understand all of this anger. It has to come to the surface somehow. It has to be expressed. But at the end of the day, we need to be conscious that we are one. We need to become conscious that we are energy. We need to become conscious that it are our thoughts that are creating things that we need to stop our thoughts so we can finally feel the truth. Because we can't be deceived to or lied to anymore because there is a revolutionary happening in front of us. It's called the consciousness revolution. People are awakening to this consciousness where you can tap into the divine infinite flow of all knowledge and realize everything is connected. There is no need for control because we stand in our own will and our own power to be who it is we desire to be. But if you're following a crowd and judging others, then you're not standing in yourself. You're not standing in your individuality and you're being controlled and manipulated. So I challenge you to wake up, to become conscious of energy, to become conscious of your chakras, of the spiritual aspect of who you are. Because we're in a spiritual warfare and there's an enemy after you. An enemy that you don't even know is an enemy so deceived in front of you to make you think that they're your friend. So the best thing for you to do right now is to go within. The best thing for you to do right now is to know thyself. Because when in knowing thyself, you can feel the truth of others. You can feel the deceit. You can feel the lies. But then you can change it in a compassionate way so that it's to all can advance and all can prosper. Because if we continue down this path, we will destroy ourselves. And life is what has been given to us, but we have yet to learn how to live as human beings. Because we've yet to know ourselves as the collective consciousness that is human. And what you give to others, you will reap upon yourself. And there's a better way. You just need to change your mind. And you need to get out of it so that you can feel the truth of your heart. Because your heart truly seeks this connection with you. And all you got to do is give yourself 10 minutes to focus on your breathing. To get out of your mind for just a moment to feel your heart. Because then you will realize that you're actually not where you thought you were. And you're in a far better place than you could ever imagine. And you have everything at your disposal to be who you want to be. But you need the courage to stand up and be that. And you need the compassion to be able to bring everybody else with you. Compassion is what we need for each other. Understanding. Not hate. Not judgment. But knowledge and truth of who we are as one. Because it's in that knowledge that we are freed.
May God let truth come to all light so that we, we may grow in the true abundance of the golden age that we are meant to. Be blessed, loved one. You truly are.